If you're a cuber like me, you've definitely taken the cubes out of the house. Now for a while I've been using this guy, which in terms of keeping the cubes together, does the trick really well. But in terms of protecting the cubes, doesn't really do very much. Thankfully, when I was cube shopping at dailypuzzles.com.au recently, I noticed that there are a lot of cube bags out. In fact, pretty much all major cube brands have released a bunch of bags now. T, YJ, Moyu, even Gun Cube. Although, we're not going to be reviewing their bag. Because firstly, it's not really being sold anymore. And secondly, who wants to pay like $10 million for a single stupid... Now, YouTube's normally incredible when it comes to like cube reviews and people's thoughts and everything. But when it comes to cube bags, there's barely anything out there. So I spoke to Daily Puzzles about this and we thought, yeah, why not? Let's make a video reviewing all of the cube bags that are out there on the market right now so that people will know what they need to know. Two quick things. One, watch till the end of this video because I'm gonna be giving away some of these bags. And two, Daily Puzzles has just refreshed their website so it's a lot faster and cleaner to let you find the puzzles that you're after. So definitely go check them out. First bags we're gonna start with are the T More Funko bags, which come in two varieties, backpack and this little guy. Let's start with this one. This bag comes with a fairly thin strap that you can use to sling it over your shoulder with, uh, but also a little carrying handle over here. Opening it up, you can see that it's basically built just for cubes. It's actually a really good height to store even like pretty bulky cubes. The way that this divider has sort of been put in the middle is pretty confusing. One, it's not like I can remove this. I mean, it's permanently like sewed on. Um, secondly, you can easily do like three rows of cubes here as opposed to sort of two that this is constraining you to do. Um, I just took this out and found that I could now easily fit like you know, three rows of cubes going down that way. This is the maximum number of cubes that I'm able to store in this bag, which is pretty decent. I mean, this is probably the number of cubes that I'd bring like to a competition or something. I've got this pocket where I can still store, I don't know, like, you know, GS nuts, a screwdriver, um, magnets, just extra stuff like that. It's really pretty great. For something of this size, it packs a really good punch. Um, and I would recommend it for, you know, just a bag that you might want to bring to a competition or something. Okay, next is T's backpack. Uh, this guy's big, there's no other way of saying it. It's also really rectangular. The back half of it um, is pretty soft, but the front half is actually, it's almost like hard plastic sort of shell that goes around the front. The straps are really nice. All this like, you know, air foam, soft meshy bits at the back um, look like they will make for a really comfortable wear. It's got a little compartment at the front, which opens up both ways. It's pretty deep actually, this pocket, quite like it. Now I have a bunch of other backpacks, but I don't think I've got anything that's this tall. Like I'm able to really comfortably fit, you know, my laptop in here. I could probably fit a much larger one as well. I'm even able um, to fit my entire display in here with so much room to spare. Look how much space there is. Like I can fill this thing up. It's really quite impressive. There's no guessing here as to what sort of bag this is. But yeah, overall, good materials, well designed. And even though I don't mind this bag, I think what I would describe it as, it's not so much a cube bag as much as it is a bag made by a cube company. Like it's a cube branded bag, but not really a bag designed for cubes, if you know what I mean. Okay, onto the YJ bags. Young J Technology Industrial Co. Dot, comma, limited. I've actually already filled this with a cube just to show you how um, large this bag actually is, even though it's only got one. Uh, this is the largest cube that I currently own, a nine by nine, and it really comfortably fit in here. Any WCA cube that you can think of will easily um, fit into here. In some ways, a one cube bag feels a little bit redundant because I mean, a lot of like the good cubes these days will come with some sort of like case or little pouch uh, for storage. Uh, but I mean, this thing is really cheap. And I guess if you find yourself always taking like, you know, one cube out all the time, like why not? There's got a little thing here so you could like even like, you know, clip it onto a carabiner and hang it off like your shoulder strap or something. It reminds you a little bit of like, you know, stuff that rock climbers use with like uh, the powder and stuff for their hands when they're like climbing and everything. And this guy is basically just like that one, except it can hold about three or four cubes. So um, it also comes uh, with these little dividers that you can move around uh, or you, that you can completely remove. If a couple of them are two by twos, you can actually fit four cubes in here uh, fairly comfortably. Pyraminxes, Megaminxes, all fit in it really easily as well. When I go out, I usually take about like maybe two to four cubes with me. This is like the perfect size to just chuck a few cubes um, in, zip it up, and then stick it into another bag. And I really like that. So 
I am definitely gonna be using this one. It's also really cheap. Thank you, Young J Technology. Next up, the YJ Crossbody Bag. It's got this flap that opens up like an easy access pouch on the outside with this sort of like fake leather three by three design going on, which I don't actually mind, it was pretty cool. It's a nice subtle like, you know, nod to the fact that it's like a cubing bag. There isn't a button or anything holding this down. So, I mean, that's not really secure. Oh wait, there's a magnet there. Is there a magnet? The magnet's here. Yeah, wow. The magnet attaches right there. So I guess it's meant to fold up like that. But yeah, there you go. Security. Under the buckle over here, you've got another pouch and under the zip and you get to the inside part of the bag. Hey, does what it says. Fits cubes. I put a bunch of pretty large cubes inside actually. Uh, you can see from behind that it's designed to, you know, go over the right shoulder or you can unclip this. Uh, clip it up to this side and then it can go over the other shoulder. When I was a teenager, I actually had a bag that was really, really similar to this. And if I had been into cubing then and this bag was around, I would actually really like it because yeah, I don't know. I just liked this sort of bag when I was a lot younger. Oh, whoa, it's got another little pouch inside too with a total of four really skinny pouches because why not? And finally, YJ's biggest bag, the YJ backpack. Um, you can see that the people who designed this are clearly the ones who designed the other ones as well. From the color, texture, all the way to this sort of like, you know, double zip thing going on. Look how similar it is. It's got that sort of opening bit on the side, that opening bit at the top. Like that's actually how you open the bag. Appearance wise, I actually think this is the prettiest of the bunch. I mean, it's sort of like rectangular and blocky as well, but I do like that the shade of gray. There's something just, you know, really cool, really minimalistic about it. Just looking at the straps, there's pretty good padding here. Um, there isn't any sort of like, you know, soft mesh thing on the back, unfortunately. Uh, but the buckles over here, that's a real big question mark. I mean, why? Like, when are you gonna wanna unbuckle that? And there's actually another really massive problem um, with the design of these buckles, which I'll show you later when I put the bag on. There are two little pockets on the outside. One for, I don't even know what you would put in this. The skinniest drink bottle in the entire world. And a little um, zip sort of pouch there. Um, ooh, that's a really nice texture in there. That sort of feels waterproof. And finally opening the bag up. Are you ready? Ta-da! More compartments. For starters, just like the tea bag, um, I wouldn't call this a cube bag. I would call this a bag made by a cube company. And yeah, I mean, definitely you can put cubes in there. It's actually got really, really nice padding like on the bottom. But otherwise, yeah, like why? It's so narrow. So, you know, let's chuck some cubes down the bottom. Uh, fits in really nicely, but I mean, put a few more things on top of that and like, how are you gonna access that stuff at the bottom? Maybe they were like, hey, wait, wait, wait. I've got another idea. Check this out. A zip on the side. Yes, we're so clever. But I mean, shouldn't that open up from like there? I could actually get the cubes from the bottom instead of like, you know, all the stuff that might be on top of it. I mean, what is this? I'm a bird. Peekaboo. <laughs> anyway, weird design stuff aside, I guess if you were thinking like, you know, hey, this is gonna be the bag that I'm gonna bring to a cubing comp or something. I just need a space where I can chuck like 12 cubes inside and then a few extra things like, you know, phone charger or tablet or whatever, then yeah, it would actually do the trick, I guess. Just why? Why? Last but not least, we get to the more you bags. Uh, I'm gonna start with this uh, little guy first. Might be able to tell that this one's come preloaded uh, because I had a little go before to see how many cubes I could um, fit into this guy. Are you ready for it? Behold, a lot of cubes with a little bit of squeezing on the edges. 24 three by threes fit into this bag. And you wouldn't really be able to tell that it had that much in there. It's really, really impressive. So, you know, Mega Minks, Pyramings would easily fit in here with no trouble at all. It comes with a strap, just like the other one, which you attach to there and there to um, use this sling bag. I probably should compare it with the tea bag side by side. In terms of cube protection, um, the Moyu bag has a bit of a foam padding, whereas the tea's foam lining is a lot harder and thinner. But I mean, it's not actually bad. The Moyu bag comes with very, very little additional storage, like this extra little flap is all that there is. Whereas for this one, like we saw before, there's this whole extra pouch in there. There's just a lot more room here for like extra things that, that you might wanna hide. If you're trying to choose between the two, just pick the one that you think would suit your needs better. Bigger capacity, constructed probably slightly a bit better, like nicer materials, uh, but better functionality, more pockets and everything, and also more compact size. And finally, last but not least, the piece de resistance, the more you backpack itself. The other two backpacks that I mentioned before, 
great material, they look really cool and everything, but you might remember that I said that they are not so much like cube bags as much as they are bags made by cube companies. This is a cube bag and here is why. Ta-da! It has a section dedicated just for cubes. It's really, really cool. And I have a total of 16 cubes in here. Like that's really quite impressive. Of course, that's taking up this entire section, which means that in terms of bag capacity, you're really only getting this much. It comes with a few little sections at the back, this little zip bit, uh, these two little pouches, but they stop right there. They don't go any further. This is not like one of those large capacity bags if you're using it as a cube bag as well. And I say if, uh, because all of these sections can actually be removed. So you can actually um, take all of these out and you can even flip that down to increase the storage of this bag. So if you didn't want to use it as a cube bag, you can take all of that out, remove all of this Velcro-y bit, and you have a completely normal backpack. Once again, you're gonna have to have very skinny water bottles, or actually maybe they're just for like pens. The foam that I can feel in the straps and also in the back uh, make it look like it's gonna be really comfortable to wear, but more on that in a second. Now it's not without its flaws. As much as I love this bag, there are two things that I don't really like too much about it. The first one, and it seems pretty minor, is this. Something about this, it's pretty loud. And the second thing is that wearing this bag will basically make me a walking advertisement for Moyu. Also, ran a little Chinese thing at the bottom, which according to my really rusty Mandarin is which I think means letting the world like love or admire China's cubes, Rubik's cubes. So yeah, even more like, you know, I'm being an ad for this company, which, you know, feels a little bit weird, but it's not, it's not a deal breaker. Okay, so that's what I think about these bags, but I'm missing one super important thing here, and it's what do these bags feel like to wear? So I've just got the Moyu backpack on now. This is perfect as a day pack. It's just so comfortable. I can see myself wearing this for a long period of time. This backpack is really great, but I really like the straps because they're really comfortable. And this is the tea backpack. It has a similar amount of comfort to the Moyu actually, I really like it. It's just pretty big, you know, it sort of sits really big on my bag. But otherwise, in terms of comfort, yeah, really good sort of, you know, air mesh system in there. And yeah, it feels like a really nice bag. Comfort wise, this backpack's actually really nice. Nice thick padding on the straps and it just sits on my back really nicely. But there's one thing about it that doesn't make any sense. As you can see, the sort of like extra bit that you pull down goes behind. It makes it firstly really, really hard to like tighten. And it also means that if you just pull down on the bottom of the strap like this, it just loosens itself. Now I even tried turning the buckle around so that the strap comes out the front, but same issue. This thing is not tightening. And once again, when I pull down on the bottom, it just goes straight down. There could be a little chance that I'm doing it completely wrong and maybe you guys will figure it out, which would be great. Or maybe something's wrong with this bag, but yeah. Okay, let's wrap this up. These two medium-sized bags, I really like them and I'm definitely gonna be keeping them, both for cube storage at home and also as bags that I'll bring to comms when I need to transport cubes. These two YJ bags are good little bags. As I said before, I really like this one and I think it's gonna be my go-to bag when I just need to like, you know, just chuck a few cubes in there and then put into like another backpack. As for the YJ crossbody bag with hidden little magnet, it's a really nice bag and one that I think a young Ting Man would have used but not present day me. As for the YJ backpack, oh my friend, you tried so hard. I actually really like how you look. The design and aesthetics of this bag is really, really nice. And I wish I liked you more, but you have some really silly design flaws. The big rectangle T bag. You are a monster. Definitely not like a casual day pack, uh, but a good heavy duty bag. Which of course leaves one bag, the overall winner, my favorite cubing bag the Moyu backpack. Not only is this a bag made by a cubing company, it is also a bag made for your cubes. And I really appreciate its versatility, the fact that I can use it for different purposes, the fact that it's comfortable to wear, and that it looks like a bag. So congratulations, you are my number one choice, the winning bag. Yay! And finally, the bit that some of you might have been waiting for. I put these three bags aside because even though they don't suit my purposes, I think someone else might really like them and they are going to make up my very first giveaway. Woohoo, giveaway! Now before you get too excited, I will say that this will just be for Australian residents. Sorry. But also, you're welcome if you live in Australia. Yeah, good on you mate. And all you've got to do to enter this giveaway is comment below once 
with the best joke that you know. That's it. Oh, and of course, please make it family friendly because my daughter and I are going to go through all the comments in exactly one week and we're going to pick the one that we like the best. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll get in touch with you and these bags will come your way. Whew, that was a big video. Thank you again to Daily Puzzles for sponsoring this video. They did this not just to support me, but also to support you in making decisions about bags. So definitely go check out their store and send them lots of love. What does a bag feel like? Feels like there's a strap around my neck. <laughs> That's because there is a strap around your neck. <laughs>